Okay. And we're back to talk about the the last episode of March. This episode was entitled Clear Skies Ahead. It takes us on a journey of, of, of watching the band prepare for the SWAT championship game. Um, a lot of things happened in this episode that I that I actually liked. Um, just on a somber note, they talked about two of their uh, band members that actually passed away in 2021 and just show the, it really showed the tight knit family and then just how that affected them. Um, I did a little research and actually both, both of those band members were from the Dallas area. So um, they did a balloon release and a prayer visual for them. And so that, that was good to see. And it's also good to see those young men showing their emotion and the love for their falling brothers. Um, they talked about also one thing that I could understand was because this was the SWAT championship. So for a lot of them, this was that last game for them. And I can remember all the way back the last time I marched in 1995, that feeling of, dang, this is it. This, there's, there's nothing for me after this, right? Band has been life for me since I was 11 years old, and this is it. Um, when I was in the band, our last performance was a parade in Austin. And I, I just remember the sure shack, the sadness that I had. And so the, the, the black box captain, um, they, they showed her and she talked about that, you know, how she's going to miss that. Because again, she's not a music major, she's an architecture major. So her life goes into the, a, a whole different, different world. And, and, I, and it made me, I remember my first time seeing the band and I wasn't leading it. And that was a very hard pill to swallow, Ooh, right? And to, yeah. to get yeah, to get used to that. So unfortunately for her, it's 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 gonna be rough for a couple of couple of performances. Um, because you especially if they do a hype show, you like, yep. dang, I wanna be in that. <laughs> you know, I <laughs> wanna be part of that. Um, but Overall, I think the episode, um, I, I, it's funny because initially I was just kind of like, ah, oh, this show is, uh, but it's it's getting better. Um, and we're down to like just one or two more episodes. Um, one thing I did think that was funny though, the drum major Jalen, he took his girlfriend out, Shelby, she's a, she's a black fox. And I thought it was cute because, hey, you know, they're in college. And when I was in college, you know, if you took me to Papa Do's, you were doing something. So he took, he Damn takes right. her. Yeah. But no, he took her to a very nice restaurant. And it was just a damn shame what he did to that meal because it was a it looked amazing. Filet mignon lobster. <laughs> that baby didn't was, know how yeah. to eat it. <laughs> you know, but it it was sweet and it was cute. He asked, you know, you know, he he went beyond will you be my girlfriend? That was his way of asking her to be to be his girlfriend. I thought it was really Yeah, he, he went all he went all out on that one. He like, wanted to man. show that he was not a man in training. He was a full fledged man. Yeah, yeah well, I remember I mean, last last week I said I like this young man because he actually led the prayer when they were praying for their falling for their fallen Panthers. And I do I like this kid. I really do. Um the one thing that I'll leave with that Shelby said now she is one of the young ladies who is a contender for Black Fox Captain. And she made the comment about dancing. And it's not just about dancing. Because a lot of times people think you're, you're the captain, so you're the best dancer. That means you can dance, but it really should be about leadership and can those young ladies follow you. So I'm glad that she made that comment. And it's, we talk about Nehemiah hoping that he, for me, hoping that he becomes drum major. She's actually my choice uh, for captain. Um, actually, one of them. The other little young lady, I think her name is Barbara. I like her as well, um, but they focus a little bit more on Shelby. So I feel like I've learned a little bit more about her. So definitely, um, Sean, Zachary, if you're watching, she would be my choice. Um, I wasn't I wasn't a Nehemiah <laughs> fan at the beginning, and I shared it with y'all. I thought he had anger issues, but he's starting to listen. He's willing to listen, and I love yeah. the approachable. I am now a convert. I'm a Nehemiah shirt wearer, so... <laughs> Are we gonna get some T-shirts that say "Yeah, <laughs> vote no, for we Nehemiah"? Gonna, we, gonna, we, we when they try out, we are gonna line up our cars and flash the lights. <laughs> flash the lights. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Shanae, you gotta you gotta do some reconnaissance work and figure out, find out <laughs> when tryouts are. Yeah, definitely, we gotta definitely. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. But no, that's all I have. Again, I think it's uh one more episode, 
I believe. And I'll next week, I'll give my commentary on that. But overall, I'm so happy that PB had the opportunity. I mean, the CW is big. I'm not quite sure how it's doing as far as ratings. Um, but hey, I, I think it was a really good opportunity for these kids and definitely kind of hating. Wish I had uh, something like that. <laughs> man, I know you do. I know, I know oh, you my God. do. Because I'd be salty too. Yeah, I mean, when I when I look at my footage and the like, tracking that I have to do on my VHS cassette tapes, <laughs> you know, man. So, but no, again, kudos to PB. Very proud of him. So, and with that, we'll be back with I'm So Glad.